guys, so today I am here to review 172 Hours on the Moon by Johann Harstad. So as always, let's start off with a synopsis of the book. 172 Hours on the Moon takes place in 2018-2019. It kind of spans a few years. Um, so the whole premise is that it's 50 years since Neil Armstrong first landed on the moon since the whole Apollo 11 mission. So NASA wants to send people back to the moon. And in this time frame, in these years, 2019, 2018, people aren't really into the space program anymore. Like people don't really care about NASA. They don't care what NASA's up to or anything like that. So in order to reinvigorate the space program, to get public interest into the space program, they decide to host a contest where three yeah, three, um, teenagers will have the opportunity to go and spend a week on the moon. But what NASA doesn't tell the public is that they have their own hidden agenda as to why they want to go back to the moon. Now the contest that NASA is holding is open worldwide and any teenager can enter. So after we get a sense as to how the competition is going to run and everything, we meet our three main characters. One girl is from Japan, another girl is from Norway, and the third guy is from France. The first sort of half of this book focuses on them, on their reasons as to why they entered the contest, as to why they want to go to the moon, and we really get a good sense as to who they are. And all these kids also sort of have their own reasons as to why they want to go to the moon, and none of it really has to do with their love of space or astronomy or anything like that. The second half of the book takes place on the moon and shit basically hits the fan. The moon is not a safe place. This book was actually really good. This was a new take on science fiction for me. I read sci-fi and I love anything that takes place in space but this was more of a horror sci-fi, if you will, and I usually am not really a big fan of anything horror-y. Like, I don't really like scary movies. I don't like that kind of stuff because it kind of freaks me out. Like, once I actually watch it, I'm okay, but in the process of watching it and if I overthink it, I do get kind of freaked out by it. Um, but the book itself was actually really interesting. It was really good. The ending for me was a little like huh like i kind of had to think about it a bit because it is an interesting premise that johan harstad is putting out there i do want to point out that this book was actually originally written in norwegian i think it was originally published in norway so i'm assuming they speak norwegian in norway i'm i'm sorry if i'm wrong i i don't know um so this is a translated work into english which i did notice a few sort of typos here and there while I was reading the book, or not necessarily typos, but things, um, how could I put it? It was like, I wouldn't have structured a sentence the way whoever translated the section structured it, is what I'm saying. Like, some of the sentences felt kind of weird to me, um, but other than that, I think the translation was really good. I really liked the, I guess, the writing style. I don't know if the writing style would change in a translation, but... The, the point that I'm trying to make is I liked the translation. I thought it was well done. I liked the book. I liked the characters. I loved the fact that it's set on the moon. I think more things need to be set on the moon because the moon is just fucking awesome. And just like space stories are just fantastic. I, I loved it. Um, there was... The story did kind of just end. Like the book just kind of ended for me. And I wanted... I, I don't know. I, I just felt like it kind of didn't white come full circle if you if you will i don't know what i'm trying to say but i like the book i thought it was great i gave it four to five stars on goodreads anyway that's all for today's video if you guys have read 172 hours on the moon let me know what you guys thought of it don't forget that you can follow me on instagram twitter goodreads and now facebook uh thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye